Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay This blessed. is the first problem that we'll be discussing today. Uh, try it out, guys. You have like five to six minutes at most, I'll wait. Then if no one can, and if anyone can also, I'll solve it. Anyways, just, but try this sum, everyone. Uh, is that okay? Like, if you are not comfortable with talking, please send something or okay or not okay message in the chat because I won't understand otherwise. Cool, Janavit, you guys can try this one. I'll wait for five minutes. Uh, it has been like three minutes. Has anyone been able to solve it yet? Or have proceeded anywhere? Maybe you are getting a different answer than the options provided, but still. Has anyone solved it? Actually, I have tried um, some permutations and I am getting uh, 858. Huh, sorry, what are you getting? I tried some permutations and I got 840. 840? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that's not an option, but it's okay that you tried. I'll wait for two more minutes if anyone can solve it. After that, I'll solve it definitely.
Okay, so I'll solve the problem now. But before that, other than Deepak, has anyone tried this sum or solved it? Maybe you are getting a different answer, but anything is fine. Anyone tried it yet? I'll take this as a no, but so I'll proceed with solving the sum. So, Deepak, what was your approach to the sum? I first I got uh, a dvd any of them as a zero by uh, 4c1 and then i later on applied 7 into 6 into 5 for the next the three letters but what if, if a is zero why can cannot other the like what if a is zero what will the matrix be invertible mm, no it will not be an invertible uh, yeah yeah yes it will it will be invertible. so for a matrix to be invertible, what is the primary, what is the condition that required? Can anyone say? Uh, Any the detail? determinant is not equal to zero. Yeah, the determinant is not equal to zero. So if we calculate the number of matrices that for which the determinant is equal to zero and subtract it from the all possible permutation, we'll get, we'll get the number of permutations for which we'll get an invertible matrix R, right? Uh, yes, right. Yeah, so we'll proceed by finding the determinant of this matrix first. Okay. So how would we do that? Anyone? So I'll just start writing. Yeah, so what I would say is that proceed with the third row because there's already a, a two zeros here. So only one co coefficient matrix will be there. So that's it. So yeah, if I expand it by the th uh, third row, the determinant is something of like this minus five. Then a subdeterminant is a b b b. This is equals to minus five into a d minus b c. Okay. Now for this to be equal to zero, the only possible combination is that a d will be equal to b c. We need this is needed so that uh, this is needed for mod of r to be 0 implies a d equals to b c now all possible combination now all possible combinations of a b c d will be how many look so there are eight choices here right so a b c d can be any of these gauge numbers so it will be 8 to the power 4 8 to the power 4 possible permutations of a b c d which is equals to 4096 now we'll have to calculate the all the number of cases for which uh, the determinant of r is equal to zero. Now the determinant of r is equal to zero if a b is equal to b c, right? You guys with me till till now? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yes. that can uh, so first case if the, there are a few cases out there. So first case which I would like to consider is none of the numbers of a b c d are zero. So what does that mean? That all of the number the, the, that will also have two subcases. Oh, sorry, just one minute. Yeah. If none of the numbers are zero, no zeros, then the, it has two subcases. One is like all numbers are same, all numbers are same, and the other is like two numbers will be alike um can anyone say uh, tell me why will this be okay so like if all the numbers are same we can very clearly see that ad and bc will be same right and two numbers are alike like two pairs of numbers will be alike sorry it's not two numbers are alike yes. that, so then that ad minus bc yeah, like uh, yeah. Of, uh, either A will be A will have to be equal to either one of B or C, and the other one among B and C will be equal to D. So the product has to be same. The value will be same, right? So that's two cases. Like so that the product is same. Like see, if for example, if A is five and D is seven, I think five and seven are here. Yeah, if A is five and D is seven, and B C is say b is 7 and c is 5 then the product is same so the uh, this determinant of r will be 0 
that's how you, and one thing you guys note that uh, one why we are considering this is all the numbers out here are prime so to get a product of a and d a, a and d can be factorized in only two possible ways that's into a into d like if there's nine and there's a product say there will be a problem because say nine into five will will get 45 and if 15 was here we can also write that as three into 15. so will the calculation will become much tough for that but here is given the numbers are prime so use that and first is no zeros and the second condition is zeros will be present zeros present Sorry. among these there will be three cases like first one is all zeros then it is like two zeros and last is like three zeros sorry so we'll start calculating by the number of probable cases for each one. First one is non-zero numbers, all are same. How many of these cases can there be? Anyone? Okay, so I'll just tell you then the answer then. There will be seven such cases because there are uh, seven non-zero numbers. So if all the non-zero numbers have to be equal, there are one possible chance for each one. So if I can choose A in seven C one ways. Now, the moment I choose A, B, C, and D will take the same values because here I, we are considering all the numbers are same. You guys with me till now? So that's it. And there is two numbers will be like, like so there we have to like two numbers. We'll have to choose two numbers from the set of seven non-zero numbers. We do that by seven C2 ways. And the arrangement of matters, so we'll do like 7C2 into 2 factorial into 2 factorial. Like 7C2 ways, we choose two numbers among the two sides, like one among AD and one among BC. And they can be permuted, each of the pairs can be permuted by two factorial ways. So we do that 2 factorial into 2 factorial, we get 84. This thing. I think we get 84, right? 2 into this 21 into 4, yeah. Now here, also, in the cases where zeros are present, the way that all the numbers are zero, there is only one possible way because zero, one into one into one into one. Okay. So now the problem is just to two zeros. Like if, so that can be done is as four into seven squared ways. Why I'm saying seven squared is that if two numbers are zeros, the other two are non-zeros. So you can choose them. Yeah, so we can choose them in seven square different ways. And two zeros is because of the, uh, this four is because of this thing, two factorial into two factorial, this one, because uh, of the arrangement. So we get something like, sorry, we get something like 196 here. And three zeros will be same like four C three, three zeros. And the other number can be anything of the, like any one of the seven non-zero numbers, we get 28. So it was like sum it up finally, like total number of permutations for which mod of r equals to zero is seven plus eighty-four plus one plus one ninety-six plus twenty-eight. Like this sum I'll have to sum it up, ninety-one plus one ninety-two. 92 plus 4, that's 120, 120, and uh, uh, this one is 120, 316. And I hope mine is okay. So therefore, required answer, uh, Deepak, just one second, I'll get back to you, is 4096 minus 316. That will be something like 378. I hope this is one of the answers, right? Yep, option B. Um, anyone has any problems, they can raise your hand or just talk. Uh, Deepak, you raise your hand as you can learn and say what your problem is. Actually, I have a doubt regarding 
two numbers will be alike. We made seven C two into two vector to the total. How we call yeah. that? Can you please be explain? We can choose the two numbers by seven C two ways. Two numbers are alike. Like well, okay. I'll tell you how. Like when I say that two numbers are alike, I mean that two numbers here. There will be two different pairs of numbers. Like if A A can be equal to B here, or it, or A can be equal to C. But now the moment A is equal to B. That implies that D will be equal to C, right? Do you get that? Yes, yes. Yeah. So if A is equal to B, then D is equal to C, and if A is equal to C, then D is equal to B. So the problem was that we have to do two different, choose two different numbers among these seven non-zero numbers. Okay. So how can we do that? It's seven C two. Yeah, seven C two. Now the permutation will matter here because the sum is saying all because A and B in matrix if you change the rows the values of the matrix uh, the value of the determinant changes so that's why we are considering mm -hmm. the permutation now A and D can be permuted among two different values because five into three is equal to three into five mm -hmm. same goes for B C B into C is equal to C into B I can just write I'm I have written this as this A D I can also can write this A D equals to C B then A D A sorry D A equals to B C And D A equals to C B. So there are four permutations. That's mm -hmm. two factorial into two factorial. Like in this way, you can say two factorial into two factorial. I have written I'm, so, and I have directly written four here. This four is also for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Like any more doubts with this problem? Anyone? Or have every one of you understood this? Uh. Pujan, why we have in the the in the two zeros case, why it's uh, you have taken the seven square? Uh, uh, why? Okay, good. That's a good question. Why I have taken a seven square here and seven C two here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the reason is when I'm taking two numbers are alike here, but like sorry, I'll just use a different color here. Yeah. That's is clear that uh, we are uh, taking the uh, out of seven, we are making two. Yeah. Numbers, if uh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, uh, I'll just go through it once more. Here, we are selecting two numbers. Here, the numbers cannot be equal to each other because if they are equal to each other, all the four numbers will become equal. Understood? Okay. Yeah. So, but and that case is already considered here in this part. All right. Um, you, if you don't understand, please say. It. Uh, Yes, a, a little doubt is there. Just okay. can you repeat? I was, it was not actually audible. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. What I'm saying is there. I have con already considered here where all the numbers are equal, right? Hmm. Okay. Um, so among non-zero numbers, when you know, uh, either all the numbers have to be equal or two numbers have to be equal, like we'll have two pairs of equal numbers, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. So we have we use seven C two. Is that clear? Why? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, and in this case, like this one, sorry, just one. In this one, we are using seven squares there because once a is zero, then one of b or c has to be zero because we have a d equals to b c. So if a is zero, one of b or c equals to zero, or and vice versa. So like a b can have any value of the positive numbers. Uh, Utkash, one okay. thing like when I'm speaking, please turn off your like microphone because the voice is mirroring. I think, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and so similarly, if I one of B or C will be zero, so the other number can be any one of the seven positive numbers. It can be equal to the number that D is already. That's why I'm using seven square. Like it's seven into seven basically. Uh, is okay, that okay. understood? Got it, got it. Yes, sir. got it, got it. You have got it. Uh, anyone else? Any doubt to the sum? Uh, could you uh, help me on the two zeros area? I was, I'm a little. Two zeros area. Okay. Yeah. When I'm saying two zeros, I'll just here. Yeah. When I'm saying two zeros, here, how many for? Okay, just uh, let me make it clear. A, D, B, C. 
we have two zeros such that uh, two of a d b c will be zero such that a d will be equal to b c. Okay. Now if and two non-zero numbers that's confirmed. So if a is equal to d equals to zero, then b c is positive. B and c will be greater than zero because they are positive. So this will not be valid. That they will be unequal. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. So what do we get? That one among either a equals to zero or b equals to zero. Similarly, either b equals to zero or c equals to zero. That is clear, right? Correct. So there are four cases we get that from here. Like if a, a can permute with a and b equals to zero and a and c equals to zero. Similarly, d can permute d and b equals to zero and d and c equals to zero. So we get four pairs like a comma b, a comma c, d comma b, d comma c. This pairs by the pairs mean these two pairs will, like both the numbers in this pair will be equal to zero. So till now, are you clear with that? Yes, makes mm -hmm. sense. It makes sense. Okay. So like if two numbers we have gotten zero, the other two numbers can be any one of the positive numbers. That's why it's seven into seven. So did you understand that or should I explain again? Oh, the other two num the other two numbers will be okay. You can choose from any of the seven. Yeah, because anything into zero yeah. will be zero, right? Correct, correct. So then that becomes yeah, makes sense. Four into seven into seven. Okay. We help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. We help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISI MSTAT, and CMI MSA Data Science. We give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IIT Jam MS, ISI MSTAT, and CMI MSA Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists.